Uncle Alan on my mom's side. Uh, my Uncle Alan on my mom's side was, uh, uh, when he was younger, he was r into, like, a lot of fucking trouble and shit with his friends and always eating a lot of sandwiches and drinking and all kinds of trouble and, uh, but people used to say he had nine lives because this guy should have died a hundred frickin' times over. There was one time he was driving drunk with his friends through a mountain road in B.C., in the middle of winter and uh... slid on some ice and ended up uh... the car went into not just a ditch but into a lake or a river or something and everybody survived but i mean pretty fucking bad situation right there and then uh... another time he was working in the bush uh... as a logger and a tree fell on him and nobody could hear him over all the other chainsaws going out in the bush and um, it was just luck that uh, a friend of his happened to walk over and somehow found the strength to lift this big fucking tree off his buddy and saved his life and just all these crazy experiences where he really should have died and um but he grew up one day he grew up and he got married and um he got married and he had a couple kids and uh quit drinking altogether and was like I mean maybe just a little here a little there but for the most part he had totally quit drinking and it was changing his life and um, he was a contractor I, I don't know exactly what he did to be honest with you but he was a, some kind of you know construction contractor and um, uh, his business was you know not that great but then one day he landed this really really big deal that was gonna actually you know make his business worth a lot more money and and uh, all this, you know, was really going to help everything just kind of come together. So, to celebrate, he took his uh, his crew out to the bar and really wasn't planning on drinking much, but ended up drinking a lot and got really, really pissed tank drunk. And um, was standing outside the bar, holding a drink in his hand and uh, talking to his buddy. And... Um, this this big dude goes walking by with his girlfriend, and as they're walking by, my uncle said something very derogatory, which is, was something along the lines of, well, who's the slut, or something like that. And um, the guy and his girlfriend kept walking several steps, and then he stopped, turned around, walked over to my uncle, punched him in the side of the head. And that punch split my uncle's brain in half instantly, killing him instantly. Of all the crazy shit that happened in his life and the bar fights he'd been in and the... I mean, for God's sake, he was like a, a bush fireman for a while and all kinds of crazy crap. And here he gets punched in the side of the head once, just once, and it split his brain in half. There was a lawyer across the street who watched it happen, uh, who was getting into his car and watched it happen. There was an ambulance on the other side of the bar because of... Uh, a cat fight going on over there, some chicks going at it, and um, the ambulance was on scene within three minutes and pronounced him dead, and yeah, that guy served one year in jail, even though he had priors for doing the same thing to lots of other people, and since then has gotten out and repeated it several more times. Pretty crazy, but that's the story of my Uncle Barry, and sadly, I don't see his kids anymore, and his wife remarried and just has a whole different life and doesn't talk to her family anymore. It's really sad. But yeah, that's the way some people are. Anyways, that's my story.